Inhalers are small devices that deliver medications like bronchodilators and anti-inflammatory drugs to the lungs. Zooming in a little bit, bronchodilators open up the airways, allowing more air to flow into the lungs. And anti-inflammatory drugs reduce inflammation and swelling in the lungs. The first major class of inhalers is a metered dose inhaler. Metered dose inhalers have a metal canister with an actuator, otherwise known as a plastic covering, as well as a mouthpiece. They're often used with a valved holding chamber or a spacer. Now, when you're using a metered dose inhaler for the first time, you should prime it by taking off the cap and shaking it for 5 to 10 seconds. Then aim the mouthpiece at the floor and press the top of the canister to puff out the medication. You might have to reshake the inhaler and dispense the medication a few more times to make sure it's working right, depending on the medication. Now, when you're ready to use the inhaler, start by shaking it for 5 to 10 seconds. If you're using a spacer, you can insert the mouthpiece of the inhaler into the spacer. Then exhale fully and place your mouth around the mouthpiece of the inhaler or spacer. Be sure to part your teeth and tuck your tongue out of the way to clear a path for unobstructed airflow and aim the inhaler at the back of your throat. Inhale and then press the top of the canister as you take a deep, slow breath through your mouth for three to five seconds. Next, hold your breath as long as you comfortably can, up to 10 seconds. Then remove the inhaler and exhale. If you need a second puff of medication or have been instructed to take a second puff of medication, you should wait about 30 seconds, then repeat the process. After you're done, if the medication is a type of steroid, rinse your mouth with water. Swish, gargle, and spit. Don't swallow the water. This prevents any excess medication from staying on the inside of your mouth. Now, another type of inhaler is a dry powder inhaler. And there are several kinds of this type, so they can look and work a bit differently from each other. Generally, though, you'll start by uncapping, twisting, or sliding open the inhaler. You might have to load a capsule that has the medication, then press a button to pierce the capsule and release the medication inside the inhaler. Or you might have to click a lever to prepare the dose. Just make sure that you don't shake the inhaler with the cap off. To actually dispense the medication, hold the inhaler in front of your mouth, either upright or flat and level, depending on the medication. Turn your head away from the inhaler and breathe out completely. Then seal your lips around the mouthpiece. Aim the inhaler toward the back of your throat, clearing a path for unobstructed airflow, and take a breath as you dispense the medication. It's important that this breath be quick but deep and forceful to make sure that the medication gets into your lungs. Hold that breath for as long as you comfortably can, up to 10 seconds, before removing the inhaler and exhaling slowly. Repeat these steps if you need another dose. And after you're done, again, if the medication is a type of steroid, you'll want to rinse your mouth with water, gargle, and then spit the water out. Also, be sure to store the inhaler in a cool, dry, non-humid place to prevent the dry powder medication from clumping. A third type of inhaler is a soft mist inhaler, which has a cartridge inside an outer shell that's equipped with a mouthpiece. The soft mist inhaler has to be assembled before you use it the first time. Start by separating the clear base from the rest of the inhaler by pressing the button located between these two parts. Then insert the cartridge, narrow side first, into the inhaler and press down on a firm surface until you hear a click, which means the two pieces are connected. Now reconnect the clear base. Next, it's time to prime the inhaler. To do this, hold the inhaler upright with the cap closed and turn the base to the right, in the direction of the arrow, until it clicks. Open the cap and point the mouthpiece toward the floor. Then press the dose release button to release the medication. Close the cap and repeat these steps until you see a fine mist. Once you see the mist, repeat these steps three more times. Depending on the medication, you might have to prime the inhaler whenever there are several days between uses. Once you're ready to use the inhaler, close the cap, turn the base again, and open the cap. Breathe out completely, then close your lips around the mouthpiece, making sure neither your fingers nor your lips cover the vents on the outside of the mouthpiece. Aim the inhaler toward the back of your throat and clear a path for unobstructed airflow. 
Then start taking a slow, deep breath and press the dose release button while you inhale for three to four seconds. Again, hold that breath for up to 10 seconds or as long as you're comfortable before removing the inhaler and exhaling slowly. Repeat these steps to take as many doses as instructed. Now, it's important to make sure that the inhaler you choose to use is appropriate for you. For example, if you're an older adult, you might prefer an inhaler that's easier to grip and has large markings that are easier to see. Or if you're not able to inhale quickly and forcefully, you might avoid dry powder inhalers. All right, as a quick recap, the three main classes of inhalers are metered dose, dry powder, and fine mist. Consistent, proper inhaler technique is critical to making sure that your medication is delivered to your lungs. It's important to select an inhaler that's appropriate for you and to follow the instructions carefully. Like any new habit, proper technique also gets reinforced as you do it over and over.